Hey, Canucks fans. Welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Friday, July the 19th. I'm Clay Emo. I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clay Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. And this is my Canucks take, all in one take. Today, I want to talk about the Canucks goaltending situation. As we look ahead to next season, we're excited. We're excited for a couple of reasons. We're excited because the team on paper is way stronger than it was last year. And we're excited because we expect all our younger players also to make big steps. And I think the key to the Canucks success to hopefully a, a playoff run or making the playoffs and then a deep playoff run is going to be their goaltending. And that's the key. That's the cog to the success of any good hockey team. And yes, you can be excited about the, the changes up front with JT Miller and Michael Furlan joining the likes of Pedersen, Besser, and Horvat up front. That's good. That's much better than last year. You can get excited about Myers and Ben joining a blue line that also will have Quinn Hughes for the entire season as opposed to just five games. That's good. That's an improvement. But one place the Canucks didn't move on, didn't make any changes, was in net. And that's because... Uh, Jacob Marshman had a really strong season last year. Sure, his numbers were almost identical to two years ago, but I think there's something about his confidence, the way he carried himself, the way he was more of a locker room leader, and the way the team felt more confident in front of him. So look for Jacob Marshman to have another really strong year. Then you have Thatcher Demko banging on the door, wanting to get more starts. And I've talked many times before of how the Canucks have really high hopes for Demko still, Luongo-type hopes for Thatcher Demko. And then you look at their contract situation. Jacob Markstrom is in the last year of his contract. He's going to be a UFA July 1st. He makes a very reasonable $3.66666 million a year, three and two thirds million dollars a year last year of his contract. Thatcher Demko, two years left, he's going to be an RFA and he's making $1.05 million a year. So you're getting good goaltending, potentially great goaltending from the Vancouver Canucks for under, for less than $5 million a year. That's pretty impressive when you look at what other goalies, starting goalies are getting paid. When you look at what other backup goalies are getting paid throughout the year, and that's why, you know, you don't want too much tied up in your goaltending, too much money tied up in your goaltending, especially a cap-strapped team like the Vancouver Canucks who are going to have to make some decisions as they as they sign Brock Besser to a contract. It's a good thing that the Canucks are paying less than $5 million dollars to their, their goaltenders and the goaltenders could be a, a will be a very important part of their team going forward. So 3.66666 for Jacob Markstrom, 1.05 for Thatcher Demko. Well, it's going to be very interesting what happens in February when it's time to figure out what to do with Jacob Markstrom. If the Canucks are in a playoff spot in the thick of a playoff hunt or are on their way to securing a playoff berth, they likely won't do anything with Markstrom. They will... Uh, well, they won't move him, that's for sure. They'll likely want to keep him, either until the end of the season, of course, and then figure out the contract, although that's quite risky, as we know. Or maybe they sign him to extension, you know, during the season for one, two, three years to keep him for a little bit longer. And maybe that's because Thatcher Demko's not ready, maybe because Demko gets hurt, or maybe because they, they just, yeah, they just see Markstrom as that valuable. Or will it be the Canucks are out of a playoff spot, uh, God forbid, but maybe they're, they're five, ten points out, and then they can move Jacob Markstrom to a contending team, a team that needs a backup, uh, a strong backup for a playoff run, or maybe a team that needs a starting goalie because their starting goalie went down, you know, around Christmas time or in January. There's so many things that can happen, but I think the really fascinating thing is what are the Canucks going to do with Jacob Markstrom, given that he will be a UFA? And we know all the pitfalls of not signing a UFA, not extending him, and then potentially losing him for nothing, but there's a lot more that goes into that than just simply, oh, I want to sign this guy for X amount of money for X amount of time. How well is Markstrom going to be playing? What will Demko be doing at that? That time how well will he be playing where will the Canucks be in the playoff hunt uh, does Jacob Markstrom want to stay do the Canucks want him to stay was last season a fluke and it's gonna be Thatcher Demko starting the majority of the games by Christmas time there are so many factors and that's yet another intriguing part about this Canucks team is what's gonna happen with the goaltending situation I would love to hear your thoughts I'd love to hear your predictions do you think that Jacob Markstrom is gonna have another great year do you think that Thatcher Demko is gonna to continue to develop and putting the two of them together What's your prediction on what's going to happen with Jacob Markstrom? Is he going to sign here an extension or will the Canucks extend him? Or will they ultimately trade him away either before the trade deadline or in the offseason, which is a little more risky? Will they trade him away knowing that they have Thatcher Demko and Michael DiPietro waiting in the wings? So key takeaways, the Canucks, uh, there's good money. They're getting good value from their, their two goaltenders, right? Less than $5 million for this season. But the key is going to be what's going to happen to Jacob Markstrom in the new year, especially knowing that he's a UFA 
as of July 1st. Canucks fans, we'd love to hear your comments. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, or reply. Tell me what you think about Markstrom, about Demko, and what's your prediction for Markstrom going forward. Contract, extension, let him go until July 1st and then figure it out, let him go to the offseason, or trade him while you can get something while his stock is high, knowing that we have Demko and DiPietro waiting to go. Leave a comment. I'll do my best to read, react, and reply. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the day. God bless, and go Canasco.